G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac. Last lecture we looked at navigation controllers and in this lesson we'll be looking at tab bar controllers. Tabs run along the bottom of the screen and display up to five icons for each, one for each view controller. Tab bar controllers load each view controller in memory at the start of the sequence and keep them in an array. This enables you to quickly move between the various different views. Each tab is represented by an icon and a name, so they are easily identifiable. So let's do it in a storyboard and then in code. Okay, so I'm using Xcode 9 because I had problems with the 9.1 beta. Uh, so if you've been aggressively moving forward with Xcode 9, you might want to just go back to the version 9 release. Uh, we're going to create a new project, a single view app. We're going to call it Tab View Controller, and we'll save it on the desktop. Okay, so we'll get rid of the launch screen. Oh, we'll leave it there for the time being. Um, but we will clean everything up and we are going to create six view controllers. Might seem a little excessive. Okay, and we won't put them in. Uh, alphabetical order, we'll put them in first, second, third, fourth, I suppose, numerical order, I suppose. Okay, so we're going to uh, the main storyboard. We're going to get rid of the view controller that is there. And if we go down to our little uh, menu over here, type tab, we'll get the tab bar controller and we just drag it out. And by default, it's going to give us two view controllers. And as you can see, um, firstly, we're going to make this the initial view controller so we can run it. And it puts a tab bar at the bottom and uh, it has item one and item two. We click on uh, item one and uh, we can make system items. So we can put things like a bookmark and it'll change the icon and change the title. And we can change this one here. Uh, we'll make it a search. So we get a search icon. And then uh, now we want this view controller to be the first view controller and we want this one here to be the second view controller and again we just want to put a label in the middle and we're just going to put one there give it the default constraints and then same story here. Now, if we just run that, so there you go, we've got our label one, we've got our tab bar, bookmark is being shown, which is one, and then if we click on search, we get two, and of course, if this label was actually centered, then these would turn up in the middle of the right spot. Um, so that's our tab bar with two windows. Now, if you want to get more than two, um, this is what you need to do. So you just add a, a third view controller. Um, make this even smaller um, in fact we will add six and put the labels in and then all we need to do is we control and drag to three and we set, change the relationship C to view controllers puts a little uh, icon in in there and we click there, we can change this custom icon to be something like contacts. 
And then we'll do four view controller. It adds the tab bar at the bottom. And we'll click on the tab bar. We'll change that to maybe history. Click over to five. Make it a view controller. Again, click on the tab bar and we'll change this to most recent. And then this one here, final one six. Also make it a view controller. Click on the tab bar and most viewed. So we now have got six items, which is one more than you would uh, normally have because it's a maximum of five. And we'll run that. So down here we've got uh, bookmark, search, contacts, history, and then we've got more um, because there's only five icons across the bottom. So if we two, three, and four, and then we click on more, it gives us uh, the two other options, the most recent, which is five, and the most viewed, which was six, and we just click on those. Now, as you can see, there's no coding here. This is all provided by the default tab bar controller. Expand it up to 100%. If you want to change the order, then you can just drag them around uh, so that you've got it into the order that you want. Okay, so to do all this in code, oh, we're going to need a new file, which is going to be our custom UI tab view controller. So We'll find put tab bar controller. There we go. And we're going to call it custom tab bar. Of course, it's going to be in Swift. We'll put it at the top of our view controllers so we can find it. And then, because we're doing everything in code, we need to do the things that we normally do here. So, window is equal to UI window. We're going to get the CG rect. And that's going to be equal to the UI screen dot main dot bounds. Then the window, uh, we have to do the make key invisible. And you probably recall we need to set the root view controller to something. And normally we've been setting it to the first view controller and that needs to change. So we're going to go uh, let custom tab bar equal to custom tab bar, but let's get the correct one. Oh, no, it's, let's call it customer tab bar. Let's just call it custom tab bar. Okay. custom tab bar and then we're going to set the root view controller equal to the custom tab bar. So in our custom tab bar, what do we need to do? Well, in the view to load, we have um, three view controllers. So we're just going to call let first VC equals first view controller and let second VC equal second view controller let third spelled correctly create these view controllers. Now each one of these view controllers has got to have an icon and it's got to have a name. So um, the first VC dot tab bar item dot 
title is going to be um, number one. In fact, we'll call it blue. The second VC tabbar item dot title is going to be red and the third VC dot tabbar item dot title is going to be green. So we'll just go to those controllers and we'll just set the view dot background color equal to what did I say? Red for the first one. Is that what I said? No, I said blue for the first one. Okay, let's get that right. Blue. And then I'll just copy and paste that. The second one was red. And the third one is green. And then we need to have some icons. Um, so we just go first VC dot tab by item dot the image is equal to a UI image and we want to use named and I created a couple before named one um, second VC third VC named two and three. And so earlier I created these images one, two and three. I'm just gonna put that one back to there so you can see one of these issues. And I'll compile this. Okay, so we've got our tab bar, but I haven't actually done a critical thing. So what we need to do here uh, in our custom tab bar is uh, we need to add all the view controllers to it. Yeah, so we do that by uh, using, <laughs> using this property view controllers, which as you can see is an array. Um, and so we create our array, um, first VC, second VC, third VC, run it again. Right, there we go. So uh, as you can see, these images are the wrong size. Um, and if we go back to our assets, um, they're the wrong size because I've put them in the, they should be in the three times box. Um, and you can see that one's almost the right size. The human interface guidelines say that these should be um, 30 by 30 uh, points. Um, but uh, they still, it still looks quite large really. And that's the highlighted one, the blue one. I'll just compile it again so you can see all the, all the titles. Okay, so we've got blue, we've got red, and we've got green. And they're highlighting, but they're not displaying the, um, the, <laughs> the, the graphic <laughs> that, I, that I've asked for and uh, I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so what I've done is I have trashed the icons that I made which were no good and I've inserted these other icons which I have got from other projects that I've done and worked on, although the wolf is too big, so we'll get rid of that. And, uh, and all I've done is recompile uh, with the icons in the right space. Um, so they're called Hat, Vampire and Team. Um, so we've got our Hat, our Vampire and our Team and it moves between the three view controllers. Now, the other thing is you see this Tab View Controller um, is uh, translucent. So we need to turn that off. So we go to our App Delegate and we've got our Custom Tab Bar. Custom, uh, custom Tab Bar dot Tab Bar dot is translucent, set that to false and run that again. Okay, so now we've got a white tab bar at the bottom and we have our graphics um, and it's all correctly moving between the three view controllers. 
So the main thing that you need to remember with uh, the, the, the tab bar controller is that all of the view controllers are loaded into this array at the start and they remain in memory the entire time. Whereas with the nav controller, um, when you put something in, it pops onto the top of the stack and then the next one will pop onto the next stack and then if you go backwards, then they disappear and are, are gone forever. With this one, uh, you can, if you have text fields, for instance, and you move to another one, then the information remains in the text field. Uh, and so you need to do things like save it uh, and the like. Um, so just bear that in mind. Split view controllers are next, uh, and we'll see you soon. And if you're looking for the source for that uh, tab bar controller, then you can find it on GitHub Swift Almanac uh, tab bar controller. And the link is there. Hey presto, tab bar controllers are pretty easy to implement. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then please leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at Swift Almanac. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and check out our website at www.swiftalmanac.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.